Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Tuesday coming at you with 2020 Topps Chrome Formula One. It's a hobby box. We have Sapphire Edition too on jazbeescasebreaks.com and more hobby edition if you want to run this back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, F1 is super hot. Uh, just look at what the, what the prices were back in 2020 when this first came out versus the prices that it's at now. Pretty crazy stuff, but... Hey, people are getting into it because the secondary market value is hot. And look at this, Josh with all the spots. Thanks. Oh, the emojis didn't print out. Come on, printer. I had that. I got all that set up right there. There you go. Thanks, Josh. Good luck. Appreciate you taking the risk on this. Hobby box number 15 will be the official break number. And I grabbed a random box. Turns out to be box 8. Good luck. Let's see what we got here for Joshua. King D, what's going on, man? How are you? Hope things are going well. A lot of Formula One excitement happening, ladies and gentlemen. The last Two or three races of the season will be upon us. And then we'll see who's crowned uh, who's crowned champion. Lewis Hamilton with a huge win in Brazil. And, uh, you know, keeping his title hopes alive. Now it's, now the last few races should be pretty exciting. If Max Verstappen had won, I think he would have kind of been mathematically... In pretty good shape. But now it feels like it's a pretty tight race to the finish. And there's a, I guess a little bit of, I guess maybe scandal, maybe not the right word, but I think they're taking a look at whether, whether Max Verstappen may have pushed Lewis Hamilton out of the track and lapped 49 or 50 or something like that. A lot of interesting things happening as we get get to the end. Uh, time flies when you're having fun, King D. Time flies when you're having fun. All right, Joshua, here we go. Thanks again for get, grabbing all the spots. I appreciate it. Obviously, all card ship, like that Lando. And there's a Verstappen Grand Prix Driver of the Day refractor. You know what? There's going to be a lot that we're probably going to have to top load, so I'm just going to sleeve those up really quick, and we'll top load them once I finish this video. More Max Verstappen. These team logo cards are pretty cool as well. There's Lewis Hamilton. Mick Schumacher. Still need to watch that Michael Schumacher. Uh, I think there's a documentary on on there. Well, yeah, yeah it's it's newer. This was our when we first moved into this new shop. This was our first view, our first angle. This is how we originally set up the studio, and we switched it, and then. Um, and then went back to this because it actually opens up a lot of, a lot of room for us. I think this guy, um, is going to be in an F1 seat. Now I thought, I, I thought I saw this today. Guan Yu Zhao. I don't know if I said that right, but I think he's going to be... He just, he joined Alfa Romeo. And so he'll be Valtteri Bottas' uh, teammate. And then Antonio Giovinazzi, I don't know where he's going to go. So, could be a future star. I think this kid's only 22. So, 
So, but could be could be a keeper. There's Carlos Sainz. There's Valtteri Bottas. Lando Norris. Lewis Hamilton Grand Prix winner Canada Refractor. It's nine out of fifty. I like that gold. It's McLaren right there. It got the rookie card logo right there as well, which I also think is cool. There's Compost Racing to three ninety nine. Charles Leclerc, the rising star for Ferrari. Another Valtteri Bottas. Lewis Hamilton and a Rom Romain Grosjean for Haas. 11 out of 25. And we've got a 7th anniversary gold right there too. There's Lewis Hamilton again with the Bahrain Grand Prix winner. There's the new uh, Alfa Romeo driver, Refractor. It could be some future value there. Some buy low, sell high. And F2 High Tech Grand Prix. 70th anniversary gold. It's George Russell. I think he's joining uh, Lewis Hamilton, Mercedes. Ooh, look at this. Joshua. With the Lewis Hamilton 264 out of 399. Let's take a quick look at what this can go for. Yeah, Brian, I, I, I do enjoy the, uh, the close races here. It's going to be a good finish. What a race by Lewis Hamilton, right? So the Topps Chrome Lewis Hamilton to 399. Let's look for an ungraded version of this. These are all the Grand Prix winner cards. Any recent sales for that? That's like the true base card right there. A lot of it's the Grand Prix inserts. Well, there's one that was uh, PSA 9 that sold for almost $2,000. Raw. Purple refractor raw on late in late September, thirty three bids ended up uh, at fifteen hundred, but that's back in late September. We're what um, over a month away from that. I wouldn't be surprised, especially with this latest win. I wouldn't be surprised if raw this could push closer to two thousand, maybe even better graded. Obviously, if it's a PSA ten, who knows what it could be, but that is awesome. So not only does that cover a big chunk of the box, but plus all these other cards, gradable possibilities right here. I'm sure this Topps Chrome stuff grades out nicely for the most part. You know, I'm probably looking at a uh, at a tidy profit and a lot of future value. There you go, Joshua. Thank you very much for grabbing all the spots. Rewarded. And I'll obviously, and you'll get all the cards too. Pretty great break. Thanks, Joshua, for getting in. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for racing with us. And we'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.